Make sure you know how many people are visiting your website. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on in those tutorials to install Google Analytics on your site. Make sure that you're tracking how many visitors are on each page. Make sure you're tracking the bounce rate. Make sure that you are watching what they're doing. If they're all going to this one specific page and then immediately leaving it, well then you know that page must be ugly. Like that page needs to be fixed. If they are completely overlooking a certain section of your website and nobody's landing on it, well then you need to redirect where their attention goes so that they go to that page if you need them to, you know. Make sure that you understand who your target market really is. A lot of people just assume that they're like, okay, yeah, our target market is, you know, moms and dads, middle age with kids, that's our target market. But what if you're in, in an area where most of the people that are looking up your cleaning service are like in their 50s and 60s and they don't have little small children anymore. They're all like empty nesters and they just don't, they want to travel and they don't want to take care of their house anymore because they're over it, you know, like... I get it. So you won't know that unless you're really tracking your analytics. And if you if you install Google Analytics, you can see who these people are. You can see their race. You can see their age. You can see their uh, dumb, uh, their um, income levels. You can see. I mean, you can see every freaking thing about them. It's crazy. It's almost creepy how much you can see. And so that will help you to uh, to brand your business and to brand your marketing in a way that's going to really attract the people that are already coming to your website, right? So you can target your target market more specifically. So very, very important, make sure you're tracking this stuff.